What's up everybody, welcome back to another Lady for X Quick Tip. I am Cormo and today I'm going to change the dynamic a little bit and this video is actually not a tutorial but an answer to a question that was left about a week ago on the Smart Tempo tutorial by Dishazol17 and the question was what about acapellas, vocals or acapellas? So what I take from your question is like what do we do with acapellas when using Smart Tempo and Instead of me writing a bunch of words in the comment section, I decided to just make a video response. And so my apologies for taking a week to answer, but I want to do this also a little bit more often. So if you ask a question, I'll probably just do a quick video to answer you. And there is a way or there's something that I want to show you here quickly in Lawyer Pro X that I want you to try first. And then this is going to be like a preview for what I'm going to be doing this weekend in the formal video and the next video is talking about the file tempo editor and other tempo operations that 10.4 version of Logic Pro X brought. So let's go into the Logic Pro X window real quick and you can see I have an instrumental and an acapella of two famous hip hop songs. I don't need to tell you about them too much if you know anything about hip hop. So. I'm just going to play these two bars. Let's see what happened here first. Let's see the end result. And then we'll see if it nicks fixing, which it will. Let's just. I grew up on the crime side, the New York Times side. Staying alive was no job. So that kind of sounds, that acapella count, kind of sounds a little bit faster than the tempo should be. And that makes sense. Actually, it's a little bit slower, I think, in some parts, so mostly. So how do we you know how do we get here and fix this so initially i recommend that you bring in an instrumental or that you uh, create your beat or whatever so that you have your tempo locked down but if you're bringing an audio using smart tempo make sure that you set it to adapt bring the instrumental which is what i did then change it to keep so that you lock that tempo and then bring your acapella a few things that are going to help you make this better. One, if the tempo of the acapella is at least close enough to the instrumental, it's going to make your life easier editing. And also to uh, when you do some tempo editing, that it doesn't create some artifacts and sounds crappy too fast or too slow, you know. And in this case, I chose this too because I know that they're a little bit close but they're not perfectly matching as you have seen so the second thing that you want to do then when you have this situation and the reason that i am lining it up here is because you know from this song that this is just an intro and this is where the first downbeat starts or the first beat starts so that's where the acapella is lined up so i'm going to double click the acapella and I, if you don't see this, you're going to see a button that says analyze. You're going to press that so that you get this information here. This like uh, the file tempo editor and transient information, but you don't really need this. The trick that we want or that you need, or that I recommend that you use when dealing with acapellas is select the region and then go to actions and make sure that you do an adapt region tempo to project tempo and align downbeat and what that's going to do is this it moved and that's because it's matching the tempo of this region to the tempo of the project and now we know or i know that there's uh, a little section there where there's no lyrics that actually it's intentional and the the actual downbeat starts a little bit later so i just match again everything and let's listen to that and that matches much better with the instrumental that you brought in with the smart tempo by just doing the simple action command there's as you can see other things that we have available and again i'm going to be talking about those in subsequent videos but for now I wanted to show you this because it's a quick way to work with acapellas. And if I am um, assuming correctly, I, I think you, you, you may be more into the hip hop thing. So this is a good way of doing it. So there's another quick thing in the end that I want to say is that 
if your if the tempo of your acapella and your instrumental are different by either half or double if you don't know that concept then this should also work like the the farther out that you are that's not double or half then the more difficult it's going to be it's going to take for you to uh, match some or scale or move some of the downbeats or beats and that could create the unwanted results but it's not to say it's not possible okay so i hope that i answered your question and just stay tuned this weekend for more details on the final tempo editor as usual thanks for the support thanks for the questions thanks thanks for you know uh taking some of your time to watch some of these videos and as usual just subscribe comment share all that good stuff i'll see you this weekend and peace out people